he did a lot of prep work for this matchup. So we're gonna find out. I mean, I, I think we can only just guess, but you know, this, this is the match up being played. This is, we're watching it being discovered as this match is happening, right? This, this is again uh, one of the very first times Japan and America are interacting offline in this game. And it is also, you know, a new game. So right. you know, history in the making right here, right? Yeah, and I, I just don't think it can be understated how important this is, how yeah. how much development and how much growth for this game is going to come out of what's happening here today. What's happened here yeah. over the course of the weekend already. I mean, th this is also going to set the, the tone for the rest of the top four, right? Because it definitely you is. Know, regardless of which way it goes, th there's going to be a lot to be picked up on from the other players watching this. So everyone's really watching this with bated breath. Here we go. Game one, Masoma versus Jenk, and Masoma wow, finds the first hit. What a strong opening. Masoma sometimes in the beginning of a round will not do a whole lot trying to feel it out. Mm -hmm. I definitely think they knew that they have to be aggressive against Jenk because Jenk oh. will take every opportunity to be aggressive and still be open up with this big corner pressure against yeah. a launcher. I mean, we, we talk about how Japan doesn't really use shield as much, but that was uh, very characteristic uh, just trying to get out of the corner and crowd shield, right? Right. All right, shield, but no commit there from Jake. Getting stuck in the air, not getting anything there. They oh. just haven't been able to do anything. The, uh, both projectiles hit oh, and a JC. Oh, no, with the key. And a perfect. Yeah, we burned all of our meter. I, I'm not sure what the plan was that Jinx was supposed to be showing us here, but it's not really working out in round one. But here we go, offense time. BC to keep it safe. More pressure here from Jinx. Oh, God, they just stared at each other. We got more. All right. oh, that does oh, not no, work. Oh, that was not safe at all. This is an opportunity for Jake. One, two. The low. No. Stanchial attempt from Asoma. So Jake going to go ahead and open it up. Cake table comes out, gets a hard knockdown, and then. Okay, good blocking and not oak. Okay, I was about to say not committing to a shield, and then he did. Yeah, I think he was expecting maybe a BC fall from Jing, Whoa. trying to BC it back, but there's the air down. Punishes the stand tag. Here we go. This is big opportunity. And look how much recoverable health Masoma has. He chooses to yeah, use heat as soon we, as he we gets don't have meter circuit. yet. He's got to build it back, but fights the hit, so. Yeah, but Masoma is notorious for not using that for heat. Yeah, I mean, I think if he can get the forced heat round, he'll take it, but I expect to see just a moon drive to close it out. Oh, There's a BC pull out that we talked about. Been? Okay, Jane fights back. Round three. Masoma brought that pretty far back to No, Jing, definitely, though. yeah. I, I, I'm so kind of surprised we didn't see the characteristics uh, projectile moon drive. Yes. Try and get an air unblockable or something. Like, but per, Masoma maybe just looking for round three, right? M maybe he was just kind of looking ahead a bit. Yeah, all right, gets another air up. dash jump in with the JC. Yep, yeah, punishing that crowd shield. It, it is tough to just try and play the shield game against a good block there. Moon drive. Oh, yep, yeah, the Moon drive. Moon drive. Very well done. Uh, that is, I know, pretty stylishly. America gets a hit out of it as well. Jing really studied in the way that the moon drive is working now. Okay. See if Jing is gonna get it. He will land the mix. One more. After this. See Masoma out of drive. Mm -hmm. Again, the yes. empty low. That's and that classic Hitsui. And you gotta feel good about that one as a Hitsui player, right? Yes, you definitely do. And at the end of that, Jing just kind of reeled back in his chair like, okay, all of that practice paid off. No, that's definitely big. You, you want those to land. Yeah, this, and Masoma just kind of looking like Masoma. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah, but um, someone, you know, <laughs> very good. I feel like pretty good tournament nerves, honestly. Always yes. looking like they're calm and have the game plan down. Mm -hmm. And I think Law suits that very well. You yeah. don't want to crack here. Yeah. Take your damage where you can find it, and certainly a lot of damage for the Soma here. We have a lot of drive left still. Using that really well, too. I like where he activated the Moon Drive after the projectile hit, just so he could figure out what he wanted to do. Yeah. This is a turn for Jing, though. Yeah, and the Soma out of Moon Drive. Here we go. Jing did it once before. Let's see if he can do it again. MP look at block. More pressure that we're going to spend meter. It's still he's doing his turn. One, two, three. The um, throw. Yeah, Stand again, shield. I feel like every time that oh! Masoma is stuck in that situation, he chooses to use shield and he's being really punished for it. All right, King Table comes out, gets the launcher and the knockdown. Steal. Not dead yet, though. Oh my god, he just raised up yeah. that book. Yeah, I don't know. That was just a clean meaty. Masoma exploding in game two so far. Oh! Nice air dash in with the overhead. But no, oh, now it's Jinx turn again. This, he's dropping things really uncharacteristically right now. 
Yeah, you, especially this kind of game, you really want to finish your plays. Moon trying to just see the Oki, but it's just to keep doing the meeting. This oh. time the GC heat works, so if you are close enough, you oh, can hit that duck. Okay, he's almost out of heat. Is he gonna choose? Yes. Yep. Go ahead at the last second. Use that arc drag and the extra damage charge. So he's got one sliver of moon there. Gets two now with the throw. All right, and we get the tech. Chair for pressure. Oh my god! Shield, shield, and no! a counter. Very well done. All right, Masoma wins that shield. RPF, that's huge. Haven't actually seen too much of this the shield RPF thing going on yet. You know, obviously we're, we're beating the shield. There's the air unblockable. Jing jumping straight into the trap. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of moon left in that, so it's a very short moon drive, but gets as much as he can off of it. Yeah, we're just spending here to chuck them out and just try and build more moon gauge up to get that game plan going again. We see these super jump shields from Jing just trying to get close enough and uh, maybe use a BC fall off to force their way in. We know that someone doesn't have any more BC, so we find a hit here, though. Plenty of meter of Jing chooses use it just to get some yep. more damage out. Masoma, so, though, yeah. with the, have, have the moon drive now. Yeah, not a ton. So, okay, if he doesn't commit to a shield here, uh, never mind, he gets hit with an overhead. Yep, eats the mix. The heat suit game plan. Spend some meter. Here's the knockdown. One more time. The moon drive to see it. The room. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my Woo! god! Wow, and Masoma. The landing was just too awkward. Looked like we're both on the same page there as far as the shield RPS goes, but... Yes. Just things worked out for Jing. They did. That was... That was very, very tense, though. And it really felt sort of like, at the end of that... Mm, Masoma didn't really know what to do, sort of, in the corner there. Yeah, I mean, we see moon drops coming up from Masoma on defense, and that, that is definitely a sign that uh, this Oki is not okay to hold, right? Right, and as um, as you noticed, we are uh, best of five for this. Yeah. And so, uh, we're getting into it again. Masoma has got a huge mountain to climb, though. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. Jig very confidently on that 2-0 with a character with consistent knockdown game that's been working out. you got to be feeling good about that one. Beats to keep it safe. More pressure. Oh, no! The hand whipping. Masoma gets a clean hit. Yeah, that 2 way really comes out fast for Blob, and it was able to open up Jing. So, just trying to... Trying to prevent oh, air wow, just comes in with that, though. I mean, you Big know, sword buttons. Yeah, Blob Rekka, huge. It is. It's deceptively large, too. And it works out for Masoma. Gonna put one round on the board. But Jing, I mean, definitely with the way that I'm playing, not out of it yet. Yeah. Again, we're seeing this kind of jump shield gameplay to just try and get around these projectiles. It's, it's hard to really say how well they're working. It, it's kind of been a non-factor so far. Not too many huge hits coming from Jigsaw Dad. Really, it's really just been about the knockdowns and whether they've been working or not. Speaking of which, Masoma finding a clean hit. What more might do it? We'll see. We have Moon Drive, so maybe he's just looking for the jump. He finds it! But, yep. yeah, there's enough air options there that he should be okay. Counter hits the BC ball just too far. The spacing is very difficult on that. That was extremely well played. Um, the way that he went ahead and when he activated the moon drive and then used that, instead of you know jumping in like he would normally do, go yeah. underneath to just get the spacing that he wanted. It worked out great for him. Yeah, the air to air counter here though, after the BC follow up from Jing, that, that's the kind of thing right now that I think Jing tried to feel that. He, he looked very nervous and pressured after the end of that round. Um, but because if you were a little closer, I think you would have actually gotten the hit. You right. would have actually punished Lob. Uh, so this is a very specific thing I think that Jing is trying to do here with these uh, BCs is, you know, get in, not necessarily fight for the punish. The stare down. Oh. Uh, yeah, fatal count with the throw. I mean, if your punt is blocking that much, go ahead and throw them. Get some damage on the table. Overhead doesn't work out. Fatal uh -oh. counter throw again. It's about time for Ooh. something to happen. I feel like both players are just waiting to explode here. Yeah, no really commit to that shield. Make sure that he's still going to be safe. The dust comes out. But again, they're just blocking. Yeah, might spend more. Yep. So out of meter, but we do get a throw into Oki. Another one. <laughs> do it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, take I, it. I don't care that was thrown. Just I'm happy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Me too. All right, but now we've got Vlog doing Vlog yeah, things. Yeah, again. Lots of playing around the BC. Counter hit. Here we go. We have the crowd chanting for the combos too. We've got Moon Drive out of meter, but you know, Moon Drive maybe the more important thing here. Okay, forcing our turn in. There's 28 seconds on the clock. Yeah, this is going down to the wire. G oh, oh my god, oh so my far. god. It goes so far. It goes so far. It's Vlob's B and C buttons are so big. 
Okay. Jing with the scoop. This is my turn. There we go. Too, too close on the dust. The GC didn't work in the first round because it's too far away, but now I think getting a better feel for how close the EX dust can actually be for you to actually punish him with the GC heat. No commit in the air, just using back dash. We do have a move drive activation, and Sona getting a ton of damage after that double down B gets a charge and trying to get some moon back. Yeah, but Soma really showing that you can only sight so much, but it's a real application that counts, right? It's like, a Jing knows he can't jump at the wrong places and get air unblockable from the moon drive, and yet we've seen him get caught a couple times now. It's not easier said than done, absolutely. Yeah, getting, All right. okay, sets up the dust, but there's plenty of victory for, oh, he committed to a shield, and Jing was already behind him. That's... Oh, yeah, no! I, that one was really difficult, so I couldn't... I, I wasn't sure either. I was like, oh! And, uh, yeah, Jin willing to just take it. I mean, hey, if it if it works, you get heated, but if, you, if it doesn't work, you kill them, so... Not a bad gamble if the spacing is super close, right? No. Ooh, that was... There, I felt like they could a lot more punish there. Okay, okay. gets the throw again. The Bento set up in the corner. Crowd is going Crowd absolutely kills. crazy. There is no BC from Jin, though. Doesn't get the confirm, but will get the cannonball. Takes oh, the no! heat! Oh, this is not good for Masoma. No, this is terrible. The Jing. hit table set up. Masoma probably going to be on pixel here. What's the mix up? One, two. Mark is alive! Oh. oh. I, I mean, the score was 3 1, but it didn't feel that way. No. No, At it all. did not. It, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I feel like Jing right now, dude. Like, yeah. oh man, uh, but Soma had so many good moments. Masoma had so many good moments, but the problem was is Jing had more of them. Yeah. Jing absolutely had more. And I love how to the audience, he's like, yeah, that went great. And, and <laughs> I mean, we all saw him rolling back in his chair. Just, yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> that was, I mean, but as we said before the match, as we said earlier, 